Hello guys and welcome back to episode 11 of XCOM 2 on Legend where we are coming back from the black side and now we have to do a guerrilla ops mission uh, but we did get a couple of people wounded so it'll be a little bit harder sure they have to do all that much convincing at this point and I'm not sure I'd trade my freedom for a few hot meals and the cure at least we still have the sniper which I assume will be our first captain so we can get uh, the upgrades so I think we just kind of go to go to war it's not that much we can do we can offer them freedom even if it means they have to endure the <clears throat> Uh, right. Engineer. Uh, Sergeant Ranger, which is okay. And Intel, which is probably the... The effect here is the strongest, but Intel is like the least impressive. I'm kind of... Like, getting a Sergeant would be nice. Although I guess we have a couple, so maybe not. Uh... Engineer is okay, but not great. I think this one here is the most dangerous, so I guess I'll do that one. Setting course for the Eastern US precinct. I wasn't really planning to record XCOM today. I played a lot of poker during the day. Uh, I've been doing really, really well in tournaments. But uh, basically, just before I sat down to record this episode, the reason I sat down to record it is I, uh, I took a shot at higher stakes in cash games. And I lost two really, really big pots to, um, and now I have to move way down. Uh, the second pot was maybe I shouldn't have, I should have moved down after I lost the first one because my bankroll changed. But you live and you learn. But I lost in very typical like uh, poker stars fashion, where on the first hand I raised preflop from the button with ace nine, and the blind like the big blind called me. The flop came ace nine. Queen, uh, and I bet around half pot. I had aces and nines, uh, and he called. And then the turn came a king, and I bet like seventy-five percent pot, and he just shoved all in, like way bigger than the pot. So I figured like it was unlikely you have pocket queens since he called out as a small blind uh, or pocket kings. Uh, so I thought. The best he could have was a draw. I blocked the ace, so I thought maybe he had like queen jack for a draw. Uh, but turns out he had king queen, so I had the better two pair, and then the the river came in on the king, which gave him a full house, and it's just like, oh, oh okay, mm, sure. Uh, which, you know, felt pretty bad. Let's get you a frack grenade. I really want two specialists? I don't even think so. It seems silly. Let's just bring one. Uh, I guess I could bring... Uh... Oh, I have so many specialists. Huh. I could bring another sniper in case the other one gets wounded and we need one more. I don't hate that. Okay, let's go. Mm. The other big pot I lost, I had kings, and I raised, and someone re-raised me from like, uh, I think it was the small blind. And I forbet him, and he shoved, and I called, and I lost kings versus tens, and it was just like, okay. So, two of the pots that, it's like, in a sample size, it's pretty small, but it just felt really bad, and I just, I just had to, like, stop myself from playing, because I, I lost quite a lot, and then, uh... Tell, tell myself, you know, I'll come back and I'll play later, or another day. And I just decided, okay, fuck it, then we're, we're going to go and record some, some XCOM instead. Because I enjoy playing XCOM. Uh, I've done a little bit more XCOM videos than the other games recently, just because I really have fun playing it. Uh, I think once I come back from Christmas, I'm going to start another Civilization series. I'm going to continue doing poker. I play a little bit of World of Warcraft, but I haven't played it much lately. And then I'm thinking about either doing, like, Hearthstone or Overwatch. Uh, or maybe just like some kind of uh, weekly slow, uh, weekly show. Sorry for bumping the mic. And I am doing some StarCraft 2 replay analysis. Those are kind of the video series I'm running. Uh, if you have anything you would really like to see, I mean, you, it would be a good idea to let me know because I'm definitely open for doing different stuff. 
of things that I find uh, mildly interesting. Uh, I was gonna do poker, but yeah, did not do well. So we're not doing poker, at least not today. So, let's see. We have to go here and destroy it within eight turns. That's pretty hard. This looks like such a sick sniper spot. So let's just take one of our people and move up a bit. Just to get a feel for whether or not there's aliens around us. Because if there are, then it's obviously bad. I'm going to take a little bit of risk moving to the corner here. Okay. So unless we are kind of the usual unlucky and there's an alien standing right in that dark spot, I think moving up here is fine. Although, I guess this sniper is actually better because you can get to the better spot. Interesting. Oh, it's this map. Oh. These maps usually don't have towers like this. It's kind of interesting. Okay. Uh, and I mean, I'm just gonna. I could put the other sniper somewhere else, but I think I'll just put them both up in the tower. That's fine. And we will just move up. Orders confirmed. On the move. And let the aliens do their thing. They didn't even move. Interesting. Okay, Overwatch, and... Uh, hmm. Okay, I don't know if I... Maybe I want to shoot with her with uh, Long Watch the first turn. This one can't really go anywhere decent. So I guess she just goes here in cover. Uh, this one is fine. We can't go closer. We don't have any good spots, so I guess we'll just stay here in like half cover. And this one is like fine, but I might want the mimic beacon. So let's overwatch this one. This is a ranger, so she won't shoot. And then we'll shoot with this one first. Okay, advanced trooper, mutant, and that's it. Let's shoot the mutant. We don't quite kill it, but we will deal a lot of damage. Unless we miss 95% shots. It's obviously incredibly bad. Considering our sniper's in a very exposed position, the point was just I thought we could kill them with all our firepower, but apparently not. Okay, it was really not the best round of hits I've ever seen, so here's when I have to deploy the Mimic Beacon, obviously. Hmm. I have this feeling I'm gonna sneeze. Yep. At least I didn't blow your ears out. Okay. We could take a shot here. Uh Eyes on the let's just overwatch because we have a mimic beacon up, so hopefully that kind of absorbs both the hits. If I could craft more, I probably would. They're really, really powerful. Okay. It disappears, but that's fine. So... Uh, she can probably kill that guy. Let's have the sniper shoot first. Oh, 100%? Okay, never mind. I want the bad sniper to shoot first. That's the good sniper, the bad sniper. And let's take a shot at him. Because I kind of want to make sure the good one gets the kills. And if we can, I'd like to keep the ranger for later. Okay, missed an 88% shot, so we won't keep the ranger for later. Which is awkward. Okay, so 100% to kill, 100% to kill. So she can kill either. And we can kill either, okay. We, we can kill them, but it does mean we have to pull the ranger out of stealth, which obviously sucks. But I think that's better. Ooh, she got promoted. Nice. That means we can get the squad upgrades uh, when we come out for the captain. So that's amazing. Okay. I also can throw a grenade. Right. 
the scanner. Let's just check. Okay, we didn't actually see anything, interestingly enough. Uh, hmm. Makes me want to go up on the bridge. Let's go. Because the bridge is good high ground, so... Let's go. Okay, that sucks. Interesting we didn't see them with uh, with the beacon, right? We threw the beacon like right here in that area. But it obviously is incredibly awkward. Uh, hmm. Okay, well I have to kill the stun lancer to protect the one up top. And then I hope we have enough firepower to take out the mutant. Which I assume we do, but... Orders confirmed. Moving out. Okay, where can I best hit it? I guess from up here. Whatever you say. So, can I blow up his cover? I can. I think blowing up the cover is better than shooting it. When we shoot it, we do shred the armor. Uh, we sh <laughs> probably shred two armor. Instead of just one with a grenade. But obviously we clear the cover, give a crit chance, better a crit chance. I think just grenading him is fine. We really need to upgrade the better grenades because you can see how much the grenades falls off in in power. Oh, she just critted. That was nice. Okay, that's a free reload, so it doesn't really matter. I guess we can just Overwatch him, just in case. Back online. Ready to go. No problem, boss. Moving on target location. Well, we know there's one in there, but I think I just overwatch her for this turn. And I'm not sure if this one has vision, but I hope so. Okay, let's overwatch. We still have three turns left, which I think is, is good. That's quite the sectoid party. Oh, she can see just fine. Nice. It's so good once we go up in weapon tech, is we have so much more firepower. Sometimes there's like uh, the patrols that come in with like a drop, which I imagine could be a thing. Oh, we can't move very far with this one. Okay. Let us just shoot. Can I shoot any of them for high? Uh eh, 71%. Let's just take the guy we can kill. <laughs> she gets a death from above shot. It's kind of funny. But I don't think she can hit anyone. 50%, huh? This one can't really get anywhere good. We don't even have a shot, so I guess we just eat protocol. Uh, I guess the one up top is the most exposed. I could just overwatch. I think we'll just overwatch with her. Hmm. Yeah, she can't hit anything. So I have two shots. Uh, I could throw a grenade and then blow him blow up the cover and then shoot with the one up top. I understand it's just a pistol, but I think it's okay. Maybe it's enough? With the crit? Nope. Uh, she hasn't really had her best day. Hopefully it's just a mind spin and not an attack. Oh yeah, just a mind spin. That's fine. Well, mind control is scary, but it's not particularly scary. The only downside is I have to make sure I get in to get the objective, so... On my way. Eyes on the target. Okay. Delirium core. I feel like we've gotten a lot done. Let's save the ranger for, for last. Let's have the sniper shoot. Oh, no, that was my own. Fuck. Oh! 
I just tapped too quickly. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's so sad, it's it's kind of funny, but at the same token. Oh, what did I just do? Uh, we're gonna be wounded for a million years. That, that was, uh, no, thank god that wasn't recorded for other people to see. But that was, that was horrible. On the move. Got eyes on advent position. Oh shit. Well, this mission went south super quick, thanks to my fantastic play. I have to move down because I have to start shooting at the, the thing. And then, you know, sadly one of my troops is just wounded. Oh, I can only shoot that guy? Shit. Hmm. I guess I just take a shot. It sounds like a hit. Okay. Now I'm actually afraid of losing my soldier due to friendly fire. That would be such a disaster. I can't move. Okay, he shields up the team. This is the time when I really would like the Mimic Beacon, you know? Okay, well, we have to kill the Beacon. Let's go over here for cover. Moving. And then shoot the Beacon, because we have to. Okay, six damage, so we need two more. can't hit it. I need to get this one. But I don't think she can see it either, can she? No. Uh, which means we would have to go over here. On the move. Just get flanked and everything and be super unhappy, but we just have to do it right, because I mean, we have to complete the mission. We didn't kill it. Oh, crap. Okay, well then I have to grenade it, because I don't want to move this one. This is all kinds of, like, ultra-terrible. <laughs> okay. Of the relay. The alien transmission is down. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move to evac. Healer mode! Moving to Overwatch. Our vision off. Yeah. You just have to do it like this. I could A protocol someone, but I have so many that are exposed that I figured it would be a bit futile. Damn. I do think I can revive her though with the specialists if it's something. If we lose the sniper, that's not the end of the world, although it's gay. Let's shoot the shield bearer. Do I have any grenades left? Uh, nope. No, we don't. Okay, so then I don't get to grenade at all. Hmm. I mean, I could shoot that guy, but I kind of want to shoot the shield bearer. If I can. Okay. Hit the armor. A little bit of damage, but not a lot. Oh, we didn't even kill him. Okay, I guess we just overwatch that one, although it sucks. That was close. Okay, this is bad. 
feel like I just brought her back up. <laughs> I don't think I have any revival protocols. Huh? No, I have nothing left. Okay, let's move you up. Have you try and shoot the shield bearer so we can drop the shields. Okay. <laughs> that long wait. I also wonder how you can miss at that distance, you know? Really sucks the sniper here isn't doing anything. I uh, guess we can go like here to gain vision. We're doing a very poor job handling this particular pack of aliens. Heavy fire. All you got. Okay, good hit. It's funny the ranger it's like, I guess it's bugged because she already was unconscious once. How do you, how do you miss? How can you possibly miss? I mean, he's, he's right there. Okay, let's get the guy in the back. Or not. Really has not been our day in terms of shots. Although nothing, uh, nothing compares to the other day we had. Which was incredibly bad, so I guess this is fine. Really hope he doesn't kill any of them, you know? That was close. Bunker down? I guess that's fine. I guess that is okay. I can handle that. Okay, let's see if we can get him. That's a good hit. I need more like grenadiers and rangers and less specialists though. I mean I do have them, they're just they're just wounded, right? So it's a little tough. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Yeah. I'm going to la like label this episode friendly fire because that's exactly what happened, right? Uh it didn't really cost us that much, but it was just kind of I just wounded my own soldier for no reason. I was just too quick. I didn't tap, I just kind of double clicked. That's what uh that's what XCOM 2 teaches you. Patience. And I wasn't very patient there. Okay, let's see how long they're wounded for. Probably a million years. I did like, um, I made like thumbnails for the YouTube videos and I needed a screenshot from XCOM 2 so I took all the soldiers and I put them back in the original armor and I tried to take screenshots here. I think this would be a decent one but for the thumbnail I have one when they like land right when they come out of the Avenger and just like the first couple of seconds like the animation there when they grab the weapons and move forward and I pick one of those. It took me a couple of tries to get one I, I liked. There wasn't like... There's a lot of motion in the scene, so when you take screenshots you often get like blurred pictures because they're moving. But I did get a good one eventually, which I was very happy about. Uh, Nine days, okay. That's not the end of the world, but I think that is with the Advanced Warfare Center, so 18 days. But we get our first captain. I mean, we take kill zone. We can take a reaction shot against any enemy that moves or attacks within the cone of fire. That's very good. We get some mutant corpses. I think these are the guys for the... Oh no, the decoys are the faceless corpses, I think. Oh well. Hello, Commander. 
We get a little bit of intel, which I guess is nice. Alright guys, uh, I'm gonna cut the episode here because I've been doing some really long ones and I wanted to kind of shorten them down a bit. So uh, thanks for watching and in the next episode we'll do all the like status and try and figure out who is who and who's wounded and who's what. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.